In this example, we're looking at the probability involving rolling a die twice. So the first thing we want to look at is the sample space. What are the possible outcomes? Well, we're going to do this in an organized way, and that is to identify the first roll uh, in a vertical column here, one through six, and then across the top, the second roll is going to be identified one through six. And then we can say one one means I roll a one and then another one, a one two, I roll a one and then a, a two and so on down the line. So we're going to come up with a total of 36 outcomes when we list them all out. Now that we know the sample space, we should be able to come up with the probabilities for certain events. The first one that we're asked to identify is what's the probability of getting two even numbers? All right, so if I want an even number, that means that it's a number like two, four, or six. So we're gonna be focusing in on this second column, the fourth column, and the sixth column. But we don't want everything in there, right? We only want the ones where both are even. So it'd be this, uh, this, this. So two, two, four, two, six, two, go to the next even column the two, four, the four, four, the six, four, and then in my six column, two, six, four, six, and six, six. So my probability here, there are nine of those, my probability is going to be nine out of the 36. Well, if you can, you should reduce that, so that's going to be one fourth is the probability. Now, let's see about the next one. What about two numbers whose sum is six? Okay, well, going across the top row, it would be a one five. In the second row, the two four would be adding up to six. Third, three and three. The next one, four and two, and then a five and one. So it looks like we have a total of five out of the 36. And that one I cannot reduce. All right, now what about this next one? It says, two numbers whose sum exceeds two. The sum exceeds, so that means it has to be more, it has to be at least three, right? So one one is equal to two. Any other pair here is going to be more than that. So it's all the ones outside of the one one, that means there's 35, so my probability here would be 35 of the 36. All right, now this last one. It's a little bit trickier. It says two numbers whose sum is less than 20. Go ahead and hit pause and see if you can identify that one. All right, so what'd you come up with? If I'm looking at this sample space, the biggest numbers we can get are six and six, right? If I add six plus six, that's 12. So everything is gonna have a sum 12 or less so this means it's going to be all of them, the probability is 36 out of 36, or one, or 100%. Let me know if you have any questions.